Everybody, welcome back. Falcon, RimWorld, let's do this. And before you even get into it, holy shit, man, do I have a lot of people to rename and introduce. Like, goddamn, if you guys watched the last episode, I assure you, go watch it if you haven't, because... Before anything, let me lower the volume here. RimWorld, you're being a little bit too loud with this song right now. I know it's, uh, it's very thematic what I'm about to do right now, RimWorld, but you have to give me a break here. Can't hear myself talk, and that's gonna be a problem because I don't wanna be yelling into people's ears here. Either way, if you haven't watched the last episode, I encourage you to go watch it. We had a huge fucking raid of, um, what is it, villagers, tribes, people, whatever, and we caught a lot of them, like a shit ton of them. So much, in fact, that if you would look around over here right now, you will see that everybody is basically now sharing bed uh, bedrooms. I had to basically kick a few people out of their homestead in order to make room for all these uh, scoundrels that we just picked up over here. Which must be nice because, you know, a lot of my people have gone... Actually, no, everybody has, seems to have a room now, but... Um, for a while there, I had to kick a few people out of my other, um, rooms and whatnot to kind of make this happen. So let's get into it. We have a lot of people to rename, or actually introduce. We have Nano. I'm pretty sure I said everybody for recruitment, right? Off-camera. Believe me, off-camera, this was kind of a hassle. Renaming all these people and, um, you know, getting them proper rooms and everything. Holy shit, man. So we have Nano. Welcome aboard. We have Juggernaut. You know, I'm the Juggernaut bitch. Hopefully you don't crash out of that room anytime soon, Juggernaut. We also have Seven. The Shaman. Shaman. Whatever. We have Matthias. We have Cole Coyum. We have Slimer. We have Supernova. We got da Danesh. Danish. Whatever. Danish sounds actually really delicious, but either way. Uh, we have uh, Ravenos. We got, who is this? Jose Rojas. Jose Rojas. We have Melting Cat. We have Red Claw. Who else do we got over here? I'm telling you, man, it keeps going and going. We have Sam Stevenson. We have um, La Vega, who is apparently dead. <laughs> Oh, what happened to Lavego? Why are you dead in here? Oh, that's not good. Uh, we have Leo Jones. We have um, Gaming Raptor. We have James Titus has been waiting around for a while to get involved here. A lot of people have, as a matter of fact, not just James Titus. Mighty Mikey. We have Herino Pleticino. We have Terran Hirons. We have Rob. Just Rob. Only one name is sufficient enough for or sufficient enough for him. We have Isaac Colson. We have Brian Cox, and we have uh, Steven Prochniak. Old Steven P. Love that guy. Alright, either way, so we have all these people renamed, we have them all, I'm pretty sure, set up for recruitment, everything's fine. Um, a lot of people are in our hauling a dead body, so let's get the game going on here so we have some stuff happening here. What are we doing for today? Well, that's a very good question. I just realized there's a rock missing out of this location, why is that? Let's switch this up really quickly, is this- no, it's not. Just put this as critical. By the way, somebody told me, Falcon, you know, you should just probably put those as critical. So that whenever um, there's rocks missing, they'll instantly move them there as opposed to somewhere else. And, you know, that's a really good idea, as a matter of fact. So I forgot who told me that, but you know, it was a really good idea. So let me put that as a critical. All of them, I think for the most part we had them as preferred. A few of them were missing a few uh, critical setups, but I'll do that right now, really quickly. Not a big concern in reality. This one's at normal. You should be critical, my friend. There you go. <clears throat> Alrighty. So how is our non-defense, uh, non-cannon defense thing going on recently? Okay, I think it's okay. I mean, it's not great. And why is it not great? Because we're getting a lot of like overwhelming amount of raids now. So you know, suddenly. Our mortars alone and our setup over here isn't enough, so we, we have to kind of really keep in mind that a lot of people have died, and a, well, not a lot of people. I mean, we've probably lost three people at the most recently, but even so, it's still a hassle, you know? I don't want to lose people. I hate losing people. It makes people feel bad. It makes me feel bad, because then people get mad. They're like, Falcon, why'd you let me die, you piece of shit? I'm like, well, I'm sorry, dude. I mean, what can I do? People want a no-defense cannon system. I set up a no-cannon thing, so people are going to die. You guys didn't want to watch me be overpowered anymore, so, you know, I blame... You guys. I blame the viewers. <laughs> I mean, I love you guys, but you guys wanted this. You wanted me to suffer, and I guess in a sense that, you know, makes a lot of people happy watching me suffer. Either way, last time we had this piece of shit situation over here where Raiders were taking, like, you know, coverage behind this, and I don't really appreciate it. What the hell is this? Half-built mortar? Okay, I'm not really too happy about that. So really quick, let's set up a little bit of a mining area right about through here just to get the silver out of the way. But soon enough, we're going to actually block this area off because the last thing I want is our Raiders to be kind of, uh, Hunkering down in here again like they did last time on us, and that was a pain in the ass. Alright, so what else are we looking at right now? Um, well, I made an extra drop-off area because you can see our food is completely not being picked up anymore because we have no more room for it. So, let's really quickly start off by adding a little bit of a stockpile area right about here. I'm not even going to set up little pathways like I normally do. Fuck that, man. I think we're really low on, um, realty over here. Over here. So, let's, uh, turn everything off for now. <clears throat> Clear my throat here a little bit if you don't mind. Go to good foods and go into raw. We're gonna be doing raw everything over here, man. So just bring it over, not a big deal. While we're at it though, let's also haul off these rocks that are over here. 
Get out of here, Dwayne Johnsons. Alrighty, so that's good. And we also should, I guess just for the whole hell of it, let's up smooth stone this over. No reason not to. Alright, there we go. What else am I going to be looking for today? Well, we have that going on. We also need to set up more um, areas to produce food. I don't think we're producing food enough. And there's another thing that somebody mentioned in the comments recently. I think like probably even today before I started recording, I was taking a look at the comments. Somebody said, you know what? I think that the stack meals thing might actually be interfering because... Um, as you see this, right, Doms, for instance, came over here to grab, um, he came over here to grab a nutrient paste when there, or I think he did, yeah, he did. He's delivering a juggernaut, but he still grabbed that as opposed to grabbing, you know, fine meal times three and simple meal over here. Uh, what I was told in the comment, it's possibility, I'm not saying it's for sure 100%, but I was told that, you know what, because they're stacked up, if some, if some other, I guess, avatar goes and grabs a meal, it basically makes the next person in line forego grabbing a stacked meal and just go to the nutrient paste dispenser, and that could be the case because I don't feel that that's, you know, kind of, um, happening too often, so it bothers me to an extent because I'm not getting the bank for my buck over here with all these, um, meals that I'm building, so, uh, I'm, I can't do much about it other than, you know, basically, I guess I could... I guess I shouldn't say I can't do anything about it. I could just turn off the mod for it. However, I haven't tested it out just yet, so I'm not sure if taking the mod off would probably cause some... Um, we had the machining table here, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not sure if um, turning off the mod would probably cause the game to crash, you know, or fuck with my save and stuff. I'm always really iffy about turning mods off because turning a mods off in the middle of a, a series already sometimes has had issues with me before where it just basically ruins my save and I had to reload the mod and you know basically have a backup save just in case so I, I probably will try that except I don't want to try it just because we're so close to um Rimworld Alpha 6 coming out at least what I've heard through the grapevine people I've been talking about Alpha 6 not too far off so what Alpha 6 means for one is that number one I'm gonna stop taking people renames for now it means you guys could keep signing up if you haven't signed up but these people right here are going to probably be the last few people that are renamed for this colony. Why, you're asking? Well, don't before you get upset, let me hear me out. I don't want to take any more people in because if Alpha 6 is about to come out, I'm going to have to start recording for that, right? So I don't want you guys to feel that, like, you know, I recruited you, like, say, one episode before RimWorld Alpha 6 comes out. And then you're like, well, Falcon, I was only in for, like, a day or two. And then you start a new series, so I'm fucked over completely. So that's the reason why I'm doing it. It's just in the interest of you guys so you have some, you know, fair time in the colony. So this right here is going to be the last few people that I will take in. I'm going to record quite a few episodes with these people here just so that they feel they get their money's worth. I mean, not money. I mean, not really paying money for the videos. But at least you feel that you got, like, you know, your time worth in here. But basically, from this point on, I'm not going to accept any more people for this colony. Keep signing up if you haven't signed up. That means everything's fine. I will just add you in Alpha 6 instead. And then whoever's in the colony waitlist right now, again, we always roll over the waitlist to the next ep uh, next series. So if you're waiting next in line, like probably one or two people away from being recruited and you're upset, don't worry, it just means that for Alpha 6, you'll probably be one of the few people to start off instantly. So it kind of works out for you guys in a sense too. Um, let's see what do we have here. We recruited Mighty Mikey. So Mighty Mikey had already been part of us, but then he betrayed us because he's a turncoat that way. I guess he's upset that he's not blowing shit up in this um, series as opposed to Xenonauts. <clears throat> That's not a cheap plug for my Xenonaut series, by the way. If you haven't watched it, you might as well go watch it. It's a pretty good series, but I'm not plugging it or anything like that. <laughs> Alrighty, Mighty Mikey, I think you were part of the Sniper Club, weren't you? But after turning on us, do I really want you as a sniper in reality? It's a good question, I don't know. I have to really think about this here. But I probably will just because I like my sniper. So here, go and equip uh, this, which looks like a sniper gun anyway. Has a fucking scope on it, why not? Uh, I've been told in the comments recently, like, Falcon, you know, what really means a sniper? A sniper gun is so-and-so and so and those. It doesn't just mean it has to have a scope on it. And you know what? I'm sorry that I'm not, you know fucking familiar with guns, right? <laughs> um, I, I'm, I guess, like, I'm not really taking advantage of my, you know, whatever amendment right it is to, like, you know, you know, bear arms and whatnot, but, you know, I guess that's because I'm more of a lover than a fighter. At least what I tell people. In reality, I'm just a coward, so that's besides the point, though. Alright, so what do we need to do over here is actually, really quickly, we're gonna set up stone wall through here and through here. Mind you, if the raiders do post up over here, then they could just, um, my mortars can blow these things up and then they'll be able to come inside. But at least for now, I'm gonna do that. Actually, you know what, it would be early, probably be a better idea. Let's cancel this one out and do stone walls like through here as well to give me a little bit of extra padding. Okay, what do we have here? A meteor has entered the planet, gravity well, and it became crashing down into a fire explosion. Fuck yeah, there's a fire explosion is like right next to our intro here. Can somebody take care of this fire, please? Thank you. 
Thank you. Alrighty, so let's really quickly go ahead and mine this out. Might as well. What is this one going to be for? Stone. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Not like we don't have enough stone as it is. I also set up a tree to be cut, I do believe, so we're going to get some more wood. Insert, you know, funny penis joke here. I won't do that anymore. You know what? I'm a grown man. Wood jokes are well beneath me at this point, right? So I should really stop making those, I think. A lot of people are always like, Falcon, stop making those wood jokes, right? You 75-year-old man. And it's like, you're near your right. I mean, I'm not 75. I'm more like 74. Get it right? A little bit iffy about my age. By the way, I set this up over here without actually giving it a bill, which, you know, makes it obsolete, right? So really quickly, let's go to the cook stove here. And we have a simple meal. I think that a lot of our people have been upgraded, at least the people that have been cooking. So what I will do for this one is uh, cancel this out. I'm going to add a fine meal here. <clears throat> I think only one person can do lavish meals if I'm right. So I'm going to do fine meal, fine meal, and then lavish meal. So let's do this. I just will do this forever. No reason not to. All right, so we have um, fine meal, fine meal. I'm going to do lavish meal for this bad boy over here. Configure, do this shit forever. Not a big deal. Close it up. Bam, baby. We're good. There you go. All righty. Now, what do we have here? Herb successfully recruited Isaac Colson. Isaac Colson. There he is with his one-piece leotard. Looking pretty uh, stunning in that leotard, let me tell you. So what I will do for you, my friend, is come over here get this t-shirt on. A lot of people are going to be running nude for a while because we have not enough um, clothes now. And now people are going to be like, Falcon, what did we tell you about burning clothes and blowing shit up? Well, you know what? You didn't tell me that I was going to suddenly recruit like 30 people in one raid either. Now, did you? All right, Nostradamus. <laughs> so Isaac Colson. What uh, what do you excel out here, my friend? Character shooting five. Okay, let's really quickly set you up with I don't know something not too crazy, but enough to kind of keep you a little bit safe. Uh, what is this over here? Uh, tactical. Um, let's go with sure. Take the fucking uh, commando, huh? Commando. Let's see what this one's all about here. Range forty-five. That's actually a pretty good ranged weapon. So I'm not gonna give you that. How about the standard? I'm gonna go with the standard. 28? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and equip this one right here. Isaac Colson, come over here. Equip that. Grab it. Yeah! Alrighty. Colson, you're good to go. Um, I might as well give him a few um, priorities over here as well. Army of Armies hasn't been set up either. Alrighty, Army of Armies, give you one. Warden, no, no, turn that all on off. You don't really excel at much else, though, do you? So let's have you do a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of hauling. And then we'll do, I don't know, what do you, you don't really excel at too much, my friend. Crafting. Hunting. Look, just help me out with the repairs. How about that? You're not going to be great at it, but it's something. I can always use repairs around the base anyway. That's about it. Fuck that. Alrighty, so we'll do that, and then we'll have Isaac Colson over here. Turns into a one. Constructing's going to be your thing, huh? So go ahead and construct. Turn this off. Mining. Sure, I'll give that like a two or something. It's like a two. Cleaning. Like, maybe a three, and turn this one off right here. Alrighty, that works out for me. If it doesn't work out for you, I apologize, but... Let's go with the quick and easy solution here. I don't want to spend like 75 years, um, you know. What does it mean 75 today? I'm like Jim Carrey. Instead of the number 23, it's 75. You guys watch number 23 with Jim Carrey? Is it number 23? I'm pretty sure it's number 23. I haven't, I've watched it. All right, here's the thing. I started watching it and then I kind of fell asleep. Not because the movie was boring, but you know, I just fell asleep. I, I do, I tend to do that at times because of my old age. <laughs> but. Uh, no, I've heard that it's not a really good movie in reality. I don't know. If you guys know different, maybe I should probably give it a second shot. What happened was that people s told me it's not a good movie, so because uh, apparently I'm a sheep and I have no brain for myself, I was like, oh, people say it's a bad movie. I'm not going to watch it then. But I don't know. If you guys have heard different, let me know. Uh, we also got Nano. Nano Machines. It's all, the na it's all about the Nanos, baby. So, Nano, what do you like out of here? Shooting 6, Melee 11. Not a bad fighter. Not a bad fighter. So, let's... Try to give you some modern day clothes here. Maybe hook you up with a t-shirt. Oh, button-down t-shirt, no less. We're going to sophisticate this man like no other. And he's a six in shooting, huh? So I'll probably give him this, um, what looks like a Mac of some kind. MP40, whatever, close enough. <laughs> Anything's close enough for me. All right, there we go. Butcher table's taking care of all the meat that we have there. Uh, we have our simple meal, we have our fine meal, and we have a lavish meal as well. Good, 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 good. Workplace weapons. We could be, I guess, making more light machine guns. I really, I would love to. However, we need to get a trade ship so we can kind of send this off here. And why are we missing areas over here for some reason? Let's see. Zone. Stockpile. Let's bring this bad boy down to here as well. Alrighty. All good. Why did I never mine this out? Is there a particular reason why I never did this? Is this going to come crashing on me or something? Let's mine that out if we guys get the chance, huh? What do we have here? 
We got Slimer. Slimer from Ghostbusters. I'm sorry, my friend. I have no, um, you know, armor for you. Or, you know, clothing. You're gonna have to roll with that leotard, my friend. So, um, what is Slimer good at, though? That's a really good question. Shooting five, melee three. Okay. Not exactly the best fighter of all time here. You know what? I kind of almost want to give you this crossbow. That crossbow, you know, dare I say it, relatively a good weapon, 38. I mean, it was doing kind of a bit of work on us when those um, people were coming in and killed a few people that we had. So you know what? Since you are a tribesman, you're probably, you know, more uh, efficient at using a crossbow. So go ahead and use that right there. There you go. It's like you're back at home, except with, like, you know, a nice colony and base and everything. There you go. Rock off, my friend. Did I just say rock off? I don't even know what that means. It sounds slightly insulting, but not. Whatever. All right, are you guys done building this shit? I need you guys to finish really quickly. Edward, what are you doing? Edward's just standing. Edward, do you want to, like... Oh, no pad. You got locked in? That's not good. <laughs> Edward, you're supposed to be out here when people build stuff, you know? All right, let's deconstruct this here for a sec. Actually, don't deconstruct that. Cancel that. And then we'll just cancel this one over here. Edward, can you run off now? Thank you. Jesus, this guy. So before we continue with this little wall that we're building over here, let's make sure that um, people are on the other side of it before I close it off. Because obviously, Edward didn't really think ahead right there. He kind of painted himself into a corner. Alrighty, so everything seems to be going good so far. How are these trees? Can I get any more wood off of these guys? Well, we're up to 1,200 right now. I don't think I need any more just now. So I think I'll hold off on that. What I will probably be needing any really soon is going to probably be more um, rooms because we are recruiting a lot of people right now, aren't we? So let's probably start setting that up. Let's put this in real time. And let me go and excavate a few more rooms for us over here. I guess we could probably start off by putting some stone wall over here and closing this area off. Again, we're going to have to make sure that Gaming Raptor is um, you know, on the other side of this area before we do that, however. Otherwise, it's going to be in a kind of a tough spot here. Did you guys like how my prisoners have flowers and um, lights and all of my regular people don't? <laughs> Just like Falcon, right? Treats the prisoners a lot better than he treats us. Here we go. And we got um, Juggernaut and we do need beds now. So Juggernaut, you're the Juggernaut bitch. Um, melee six, shooting six. You know, for Juggernaut, you should probably have a little bit more melee skills than that. I'm just throwing it out there. Um, Let's give you... Let's go with the... Yeah, sure. Use this... M4 or ICW, whatever the fuck it's called. I don't even know, man. I know somebody's gonna correct me in the comments and I'll be like, Falcon, that the gun means this and this and this and this. I'm like, yeah, it does, but you know. What does that mean to like an ignoramus like me? Can we close this wall off before one of these guys decides to go in there? That'd be great. We got, um, Ravanos as well. Ravanos, Ravanos, whichever one you prefer. Ravanos, what are you about here? Three, melee nine, okay. Not exactly the best fighter, but let's hook you up with... Uh, I don't know, let's go with... Let's see, let's... Uh, I don't even know, man. You're not that great of a fighter, so let me just give you a Glock 19, I'm sorry. I'd give you something better, but, you know, your skills aren't necessarily, like, you know, up to par over here just yet. Alrighty, thank you for doing that, Frodo. Now I can basically... Momentarily, what I'm gonna do is actually put some sleeping spots over here, once again. People are like, God damn it, I don't want to sleep out here, Falcon. It's like, well, you know what? I know you don't, but for now you're going to have to bear with it because we have no rooms for you because I gave them all to the prisoners. I guess, uh, you know, prisoners can never really complain about uh, my unethical treatment out of them because I do treat them relatively well. We have one, two. One, two. All right, so that's good. I'm going to do up to here. That'll be enough. That'll be the wall, so we'll do bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Set this up like so, like so. It's been a relatively peaceful episode, and you know what? At this point, I needed a peaceful episode to kind of catch up, because I feel that we've been kind of playing, well, I guess with my subpar vocabulary, we've been playing catch-up for a while now, where we're just trying to, you know, clean up after a raid. Next thing you know, there's another raid that doesn't let me clean up, and it's been like, you know, back and forth like this for a while now. So I needed this peaceful episode just to kind of make some rooms and things like this happen. So we'll do that, and we're not done yet. We're going to have to build a few more of these bad boys, honestly. So we might as well start setting up another corridor somewhere up here. So I guess we'll do door here, and then room like so. Is it three or four? It's four, Falcon. So we'll do that right there, and then door right here, and then we could basically have them mine through here, and this will be the alleyway to this area, right? That makes just about enough sense to me. And we'll do another one here. We won't open up the ones for the prisoners just yet, otherwise they'll try to, you know, probably run off. And I can't have that happening right now, so we'll do... 
this and this, and then we'll, you know, link the rooms after they're, like, you know, emptied out from the prisoners and whatnot, so we'll do that. There you go. That works out for now. Alright, so, doing a little bit more expanding on the base, which is always good. Have we finished this area off? Just about. So now that we've done this, let's really quickly set up a structure and block this off completely. Do a stone wall right there. Once that one is set up, we could probably stonewall this one here, too. And you gotta keep an eye, because, you know, my dudes aren't really smart, and then they, you know, get themselves stuck in some sticky situations over here. Alrighty. Come on, guys. Somebody come and build a stone wall now. Build it now! Somebody build a stone wall now! I'm not sure if that, that was my quasi-Arnold impression. It was probably pretty terrible, but, you know, I'm pretty sure that Arnold nowadays is pretty bad at doing Arnold anyway, so... You gotta give me a little bit of break here. If Arnold can't pull it off himself, then, you know... Hey, Thomas Smith, can you, like, finish the job, my friend? That'd be really great. Let me set this one up right here. What do we have here? A new area's been revealed. Where at? Oh, okay. Cool, I guess. <laughs> Let's put a wooden door right here. Alright, so you guys keep mining that out. I'm gonna have to give you some lights there really soon, or I'm gonna start freaking out, because, of course, these guys can't see a little bit of darkness. Otherwise, it's like, uh-oh, gotta go batshit insane now. It's really dark in here, I'm sharing a bedroom, the environment's ugly, let me just go ahead and kill my neighbor. Who acts that way in reality? Alright, so that's been sealed off. Fuck you, raiders. You won't be able- oh, my lord. Skeeter Bridges, you almost got hit by this meteorite, my friend. You gotta be careful. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, mine this bad boy out over here. Alright, that's good. Overall, pretty good. Pretty good so far. Alrighty, how are we looking over here? Okay, let's start actually setting this up with a little bit, not furniture just yet, but let's do a wooden door here, here. <laughs> Sorry there, I wasn't supposed to do that with my voice just yet. I was freaked out a little bit there for a second. Alrighty, what do we have here? A meteorite has entered. That's the one that just landed. And we also have a coal coyum. Coal coyum. Oh, that's your back to us, my lord. For a second, I thought he was missing a face. Kind of freaked me out. He could be like the question from DC. Alrighty, um, coal coyum, what do you excel at here? Ba, 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 ba. Shooting three, mining eight. At least like you're gonna be a decent worker, so let me go ahead and give you, I don't know, something not too amazing as well. We'll hook you up with this Mauser. I'm sorry, you're not really a good fighter, so what can I really do for you at this point? Nothing, really. Alrighty, I gotta take care of the people sleeping in the floor, by the way, so we might as well start setting up a little bit of furniture inside the bases here. What do we have here? A colony seller from Dugas at the age is passing by. She is named Leslie Rice. I don't give a shit, Leslie Rice, who you are. Alright, you don't come over here. You guys never help me out with shit. You know, I've actually been thinking about calling for backup now, just to see what happens, but... I don't know, I guess I'll give it a try, if anything, just to kind of, um, have them play as scapegoats for us, before, you know, we get our own people, you know, in the mix of things. We'll see how that works out, though. Um, smooth stone, sure. Let's, um, smooth stone all of this right here. And then, I guess since we're doing green, we might as well continue doing the green thing over here. Go green! That's what they say. So we'll do that right there. Alrighty. Few more rooms. I'm gonna put up some lights there really soon. Nikon is bad. I know we do. I, I know we do. I'm I'm in the midst of it. Believe me, game. I am. Furniture. Sleeping spot here. Sleep on the floor for now, okay? It's not gonna kill you. It'll only make you stronger. We got Gaming Raptor, and we uh, that's the person just kind of visited. And Gaming Raptor. Where's Gaming Raptor? He's having a good meal over here too. First thing out of prison. Let's get some good meal in us. Uh, melee 11, shooting six. Not too bad. Alrighty. Gaming Raptor, let's have you hook up with, uh, you're not too bad of a shot, so let me give you this, um, silencer. Apparently, you're gonna be our fucking assassin of the colony for some reason. What is this? Uh, Leo Jones, we're getting way too many people right now recruited. There's not enough rooms, goddammit! Leo Jones, what about you? Leo Jones, uh, melee 12, shooting 5. Okay, Leo Jones, let's hook you up with... Uh, 5, huh? What the fuck is this, a browning? That's a really long-range one. Let's give you the bolter for now. Alrighty, and here's what I'm gonna do. Let's call it an episode here, guys. I know it's been really slow, really easy, but we've been getting a lot of recruitments. We're doing a little bit of, um, I guess, um, expansion to the base, which is always good. And we've sealed off this little danger area we had going on over here. I'm gonna go and off-camera just assign tasks for these people, because it's quite a few people that you have to kind of uh, assign that to, and I don't want you to sit there while I do this bullshit. And we're gonna continue going. I guess we're gonna start probably building some lights into the rooms next. Even the non-prisoner one. So basically my colonists could have a little bit of light in there. Not that it really matters too much, but a lot of people have been telling me, fucking, it's too dark. So, you know, I'll give you guys some lights, I guess. Hopefully it gets enough power for it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, I encourage you to leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support always does mean a lot. And, um, keep looking and tuning in. Alpha 6 isn't too far off from what I've here. I'll catch you guys next time.